Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll talk about reprojection. In remote sensing, there are various reasons that you want to change the projection of your image. You want to, for example, do an overlay analysis and your projection uh, parameter to be in a different uh, projection uh, format. Uh, and also, when you have multiple data uh, as input in your model, for example, and you want a, a consistent projection to perform some analysis uh, on this image or in this data, you need to reproject your uh, every uh, layer uh, into a certain projection um, system. So there are multiple reasons that you need to reproject uh, or change the projection parameter of your image or your data in, in uh, remote sensing. So on Earth's engine, you have the, reproje um, the uh, reprojection uh, parameter or just the reproject uh, function uh, to perform that uh, analysis. Let's first uh, uh, import a fusion table um, to define our study area um, and I'll just focus uh, on uh, Egypt and I'll uh, select uh, Egypt from country's boundary data um, and import the uh, MODIS data uh, modis imagery for this uh, analysis so i'll define image and ee uh, dot image and i'll imp um, provide that image id from the earth library and i'll um, select everything and also um, clip it by the steady area uh, egypt since it's a global data i need it at least um, um, for some uh, specific study area to save um, computation um, space. Um, okay, so let's print the this. This is the raw image which has a, a projection or coordinate information. So we, before we apply the project, the reproject um, uh, parameter, let's um, see what the projection information is by printing uh, by running this. So we'll uh, so the raw projection is. Uh, it will give us the so it's on sinusoidal uh, projection parameter SRRG. So that's the modi sinusoidal projection. Um, so we need to reproject this, and then we'll see once we reproject that, we'll see um, the new projection system. Let's apply the reprojection by uh, writing this function. And so for, I'll declare a variable uh, reprojected is equal to image and define the unit scale and also the reproject parameter that means this is the new um, projection system EPSG um, colon 4326 standard earth engine projection system and the uh, projection uh, the uh, the scale is 500 meter and so now this um, will apply so I'm calling here the image the raw image here and then define projection parameter and um, apply a, a reprojection. Then this, sh this should reproject the, this should change the projection information or system of the raw image into a, a different projection system. Let's see what the reprojected image um, has, uh, what's the projection system of the reprojected imagery is. So we have seen the raw data with the the raw projection system, which is the modis sinusoidal projection, and the reprojected version, the one that has been already projected, uh, has so the coordinate system here is EPSG436, as you um, can see here, uh, since we already defined um, that. So we have effectively um, reprojected a raw modis data from sinusoidal to uh, Mercator. Uh, UTA Mercator uh, projection system and let's look at the um, let's map both data sets um, so let's um, map the reprojected data uh, as well as the raw data which is the raw image and okay So here's the, the raw data, the raw data here, and here's the projected um, 
the reprojected image but most importantly what we are interested in is just to check you know the coordinate system if it's changed from sinusoidal to uh, Mercat, you, you know UTM Mercator uh, the APS GS uh, st standard for our Earth engine so yeah this is how you would apply a reprojection uh, on Earth engine to change the projection system of uh, uh, an imagery to uh, another